Hi, I'm Mike, your pharmacist, and thank you for joining me on The Daily Dose. In this video, we'll be talking about hypertension or high blood pressure. If you take blood pressure pills, you may have asked, do I really need these? I don't really feel them working. Well, here's a few reasons why you should take your blood pressure pills. Increased arterial blood pressure is directly related to increased risk of cardiovascular complications. High blood pressure increases afterload. What is afterload? Afterload is the end load against which the left ventricle of the heart contracts to eject blood. The left ventricle is responsible for pumping blood to the whole body. It is the largest and strongest part of the heart. That's why a real heart is shaped this way, not this way. In hypertension, the left ventricle has to work much harder to overcome the resistance and pressure. The heart is a resilient muscle, so when it has to work harder, it grows and becomes stronger like any other muscle. However, the heart doesn't get a break like your biceps. It's working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. When overworked, the heart eventually starts to stretch and develop scar tissue. This illness is called left ventricular hypertrophy or LVH. If left untreated, LVH can lead to heart failure. Like when you exercise, we need more oxygen. It's the same with the heart. When it works harder, oxygen demand goes up. Unfortunately, in high blood pressure, there is less blood flow to the heart, decreasing the oxygenation of the heart. Low oxygen can lead to myocardial infarction or ischemia or what is wildly known as a heart attack. When the heart doesn't get the blood it needs, it stops working, and that's what leads to this impending feeling of doom. Another reason there is less blood flow to the heart is because high blood pressure causes arterial damage, which accelerates atherosclerosis buildup and weakens the vessel walls. Atherosclerosis buildup hardens and narrows your arteries, which further decreases blood flow to the heart. Think of a hose. If I decrease the overall volume in a hose, the pressure within that hose goes up drastically. Decreased oxygenation of the heart tissue increases risk of myocardial infarction or heart attack. The heart requires more oxygen, but it receives less oxygen. These two forces working together increases risk of myocardial infarction. The acceleration of atherosclerosis can lead to thrombosis. Thrombosis is the formation of a blood clot inside a blood vessel, obstructing the flow of blood through the circulatory system. If part of the thrombus breaks off, it's called an emboli. Now, if an emboli goes to your brain, it causes a stroke. If it goes to your lungs, it causes a pulmonary embolism. If it goes to your legs, it causes a DVT or deep vein thrombosis. A common symptom of a clot is swelling. Why does this happen? Think of a hose again. What happens if you squeeze that hose? It has more pressure to work against, so to compensate, that water builds up and stretches the hose, causing congestion. Similarly, a blockage in the circulatory system can cause a blockage which leads to fluid buildup. On top of all, the, all that, atherosclerosis weakens vessels by hardening the walls of the arteries. High blood pressure causes your arteries to stretch. The stretching weakens them. Some of your more sensitive organs like your eyes and your kidneys have very small capillaries that if overloaded by pressure can be damaged beyond repair. If the aortic arteries weaken too much, it can cause an aortic aneurysm. If the arteries in the kidneys weaken too much, it can lead to CKD or kidney failure. If the arteries in the eye weaken too much, it can cause retinopathy. So yes, you may not feel your blood pressure pills working, but not taking them can cause this progression to serious illness. These are all reasons why hypertension is termed the silent killer. If you have issues with remembering to take your pills, pharmacists have strategies aimed to help reduce missed doses and increasing compliance. I'm Mike, your pharmacist, and thank you for joining me on The Daily Dose. If you found this video informative or helpful, please like or share it with your friends. Thank you.